Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Did my makeup today, but I didn't feel like doing my hair, so I just kind of put it up in a ponytail. And I was doing some homework online. This video is about advice that I've gotten from other moms. So I'm just going to share with you guys some stuff that I've gotten from just people in general that I know that have had kids recently. So let's get on into it. So when I did my video on what's in my baby bag, I got a lot of people that were giving me advice because I had asked for some. One of the advice was from my cousin. So she recently had her baby about a year ago. Yeah, he just turned one. So something that she had suggested is that if you're going to breastfeed i showed you guys in my video the lansino cream that i am bringing to the hospital for when i give birth the lansino cream that you put on your breast for when you're breastfeeding she suggested to put that on and what she wished she had known was that she put that on before going into labor basically kind of like the stretch mark cream kind of like the same concept but for your breasts for when you're breastfeeding so basically putting that on starting to put that on now in the last weeks of your pregnancy putting that on so that when it comes time so a lot of moms say that when they're breastfeeding their nipples start to crack they start to bleed because their body isn't used to it yet so my cousin suggested putting that on now will make it more elastic so that it doesn't crack and it and it doesn't bleed as much so shout out to my cousin Chantel she lives in Hawaii just had her baby somebody that I know named Erica she had her babe her first kid <laughs> I think three years ago and then she just recently had her second son a couple months ago so she just had her second child after watching my video on what to bring in my baby bag she had suggested a lot of things so I was very grateful for that because I am always looking for suggestions on what I should bring what I shouldn't bring all that good stuff so, so one of the suggestions is she said to not bring any diapers. In my baby bag video, I had diapers inside my baby bag, but she said not to bring any because diapers are expensive, y'all. Like, let me just tell you, diapers are expensive. She said not to bring any because the hospital gives you as much as you need during that time. So while you're with them, you are provided with as many diapers as possible. She suggested not to bring any diapers because they're provided so not to waste your own basically she did suggest to bring your own wipes though because she said that they give you cloths basically that you have to <coughs> wet so bringing wipes is just kind of more convenient but in my baby bag i had brought not as many clothes i don't think i brought any she said to bring a few changes of clothes because a lot of them just soil them all was latch bottles because they mimic the nipples they're constantly on you you can bring the bottles even if you're breastfeeding you can pump and then because a lot of moms say that pumping doesn't hurt so a lot of moms say you know pumping and then putting it into a latch bottle so that and then now for the stuff that she suggested for yourself for labor and delivery plus postpartum she had suggested a whole lot of things which i was not aware of and a lot of the videos that I had been watching to see like what other moms brought didn't really have any of these things and it was really nice to get like a picture of like you're right I would like to do that so obviously some things like toothpaste and toothbrush just because you'll be there for a couple days at least she found that loose clothing is going to be your best friend there no jeans because obviously you're groin area had just been ripped apart so you don't want anything hugging it right then and there but and then shampoo and conditioner was something that she had suggested that i really didn't think of because you know you're not when you think of labor and delivery you think of oh like give birth go home but you don't really think wow like you're gonna be there for two three days and you're gonna wanna take a shower. A lot of moms say that they feel gross because you know, water breaks, there's a lot of blood and you feel it all underneath you. 
loose comfy slippers so they give you socks with like the little stuff underneath so that you can walk around but to me that just feels like you have socks on and then you step on rice and it just sticks there so i don't like those socks so a sensitive bar of soap obviously you can't like rub stuff on your area it's just so sore and may or may not rip um, she also said that a brush for your hair with hair ties is also convenient unless of course you have a pixie cut or something like that as you can see i don't after you're done giving birth you're sweaty you're gross and you just want your hair up and out of your face and you don't want it and obviously when you're breastfeeding you don't want it like how i have it right now where his head is right obviously i could put it on this side but either way you know just the the fact that it's in the way because when they ask you to breathe they're asking you to breathe through your mouth and so obviously you know that breathing through your mouth for a long period of time consistently like hard deep breaths can make your lips go very chapped you're not going to be worried about licking your lips and you know the sweaty whatever so really she said that for a little while you can't shower because you just gave birth you got to give your body a little bit of time you know an hour or two is what i'm assuming to let your body adjust to what's going on until then face wash is really nice or you know a nice mask is really good because then you feel clean you feel rejuvenated that is some suggestions from erica so thank you erica for making those suggestions What people don't realize is that labor is more than just the actual pushing. There's preterm labor or false labor is what I was told. Labor is, you know, the contractions, the water breaking. It's different for every mom, so not all of that happens in the same amount of time. False labor, when you're just getting the contractions and it's not consistent and it's not close together, is what I've learned. What a couple of moms have said, what they've described labor and contractions as is when you have to use the bathroom really really bad but you're in public so you hold it you're holding it you know everybody gets that feeling where you're like like you're sweating and you start to cramp that's what a lot of moms have said that's what contractions feel like and um when your water breaks what i've heard was that it feels like peeing you don't feel the pressure of peeing it's just kind of falling out now to some updates so some updates are i am now 36 weeks i am so so scared i only have four weeks left and a lot of people think that i'm gonna go into labor early, or i'm going to give birth early which it's not uncommon to go a week or two or a week early or a day or two or something like that but i think i'm gonna go into labor early so it's gonna be here soon guys i also lost my mucus plug for those who do not know what your mucus plug is i lost it week and a half ago so i know what it is but to medically give you the terminology your mucus plug is when your cervix begin to begins to efface significantly or dilate as you get close to labor just because i lost my mucus plug does not mean that i'm going into labor it just means that my body is getting ready for labor since i'm getting close to it the mucus plug is just the small amount of thickened mucus that has sealed off my cervical canal for the last nine months. The way it works is basically you have your cervix and then there's a little mucus plug. That just means that I'm getting ready for labor. My body is getting ready for labor, so I'm excited. I also had my first contraction, I think, I believe, this past Wednesday. I believe I had my first contraction because I was sitting there and we had just gotten crab so we just got something to eat so I had first thought well maybe I just have to use the bathroom driving you know I'm just sitting there because my back hurts really bad really full and I was like maybe I just have to use the bathroom I was like I think I have to use the bathroom we stopped I don't feel good <laughs> I don't feel good but I had to use the bathroom and I'm like, mom, hurry, like I have to go to the bathroom. We have to stop at home real quick. Like, hurry, I have to go. But then, like five seconds later, it's completely gone. I don't have to use the bathroom. And I'm like, okay. 
I just had my first kitchen. And I was like, yeah, like this whole time I was telling you I had to go to the bathroom, but and it was all of, this was all in the span of like five minutes. This whole time I was telling you I had to go to the bathroom and just now like and it's gone. Like I don't have to use the bathroom. And I didn't use and it's not like when you hold it and then it like goes away and it comes back. I didn't have to use the bathroom until the next morning. A whole 24 hours went by. So I had my first contraction last Wednesday. New scenery. I won't go into detail because it's kind of emotional for me and my family. Just know that I am safe. I am okay and everything is good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so, so much for all the subscribers that are here that have been watching my videos. And I will keep you guys updated as usual. And Malachi will be here soon. So we will see you guys here soon in the next four weeks. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a fantabulous day. Mahalo and bye!